and uh, we're delighted to be uh, hosting this morning's press conference here in the Children's Hospital uh, to bring focus to uh, the big bike ride on Sunday that we're to the Bronx, which is a great sound, uh, which I have done twice. Uh, and um, I just want to spend a uh, few minutes uh, going over uh, the context and one of the reasons why, in particular, Montefiore is so behind uh, this extraordinary activity, which really has a life of its own. Uh, I uh, have other speakers uh, this morning. Prospero uh, President, I'll introduce him in a second, and from the Department of Health and alumni. Uh, uh, Dr. Jane Goodell, uh, but what I want to bring across is the importance or the, or the unique characteristics of Montefiore, which is it places a huge amount of importance on the health of the community. And um, there are a lot of hospitals and academic medical centers that focus entirely on illness, and they do a great job because unfortunately, there is too much illness uh, in our community, especially in the urban centers. But Montefiore has always had a tradition of being deeper in the community, promoting wellness uh, and prevention, and screening comprehensively to prevent illness. And when you think about uh, what the impacts on someone's health are, Quite humbly, I will say that the medical system kind of cleans up after the fact. Um, and in truth, the big impacts happen to be uh, economic well-being, uh, happen to be opportunities in education, happen to be housing uh, and exercise. So we have worked very collaboratively with the Bronx Borough President's Office and the Department of Health in the City of New York to promote those activities. Uh, we bring sometimes some expertise there, and other times we look for the expertise elsewhere, but it's about collaboration. And we collaborate uh, with everything from the green parts and the farmer's market that uh, brings Montefiore in the uh, school health programs uh, and many, many, many other activities. So um, it is the, this big bike ride, which is an important activity for the individuals in it, but it's also an example. Uh, it's heavily an example of uh, adults uh, creating the right um, examples for the children, and that's why we're going to the children's So uh, I, I'll begin with that. I think uh, we have questions. There are some other things that we can answer. But before I, uh, I, I get to that, I just want to introduce uh, my friend. Bronx Borough President, Ruben Diaz Jr., uh, who I think has been absolutely uh, incredible in his office and uh, a great partner. So. Thank you, Dr. Safia, and all who are here today. Uh, it's certainly a pleasure to be here with you, Doctor, in, in this beautiful facility here in the Children's Hospital. Uh, uh, a facility that I've visited on many occasions. It's uh, always a pleasure to stand shoulder to shoulder and side by side uh, with, with you and, and, and who are, you are an individual who has taken this beautiful institution in Montefiore and has really put the Bronx on the map, not just here in the state of New York, uh, but nationally and internationally. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we stand in one of the greatest medical facilities in the world and the largest employer in our borough. And, and more importantly, thank you for the help, the health care that you give bomb sites and people beyond our parameters. I, I want to say that it's a pleasure to be part of Tour the Bronx. Uh, this is obviously, if you're not aware, one of the biggest, if not the biggest event in our borough, uh, where we have over 6,000 bicyclists uh, who uh, go around and start on 161st Street in Grand Concourse. Uh, this is a wonderful way uh, for us to promote health. This is a wonderful way 
for us to promote tourism. This is a wonderful way for people to take on a beautiful, gorgeous, autumn day, a, a, a different perspective, a, a, a certain vantage point that we don't get a chance to do. We get a chance to either go do the 25 mile uh, ride or the 40 mile ride. I, for one, am doing this for my first time, Dr. Safi. I don't know if I have the best health conditions to do the 25 mile or the 40 mile run, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. Uh, this is a, for me, I wanna invite people of all ages. I wanna invite people of all sections uh, in our beautiful city and throughout the state of New York to come and take a look at our wonderful cultural institutions, historic sites, our parks, our beaches, uh, our, our the infrastructure that you see here. And, and I also let me just say this, that uh, while we, we, we want to promote health and we want to promote the Bronx, I think that, it, that we, we should also note that we're dedicating uh, this year's Tour the Bronx to a wonderful, wonderful uh, person that we lost uh, this past March and that's uh, 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 Ms. Charlotte. And, and everyone knows that uh, when, when you talk about um, uh, Ms. Charlotte and, and, and the, the, the work that she's done here in the Bronx, Megan is someone who lost her life literally promoting bicycle. Megan Charlotte is someone who is not just known for promoting bike lanes, alternative transportation, uh, helping the environment. Megan Charlotte, if you look at the archives, if you look at Google, if you Google up her name, you will see articles in the late 70s and early 80s where she was fighting for affordable housing, where she was fighting for the poor, when other people ran away from the, the borough of the Bronx at those times, when people were uh, looking at us as a war-torn country and doing nothing about it. Megan Charlotte was literally putting hammers to nails in, 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 our, in our apartments in the South Bronx. And so this year, we are dedicating this event to her. We, we will support, continue to support her family. I think that her legacy will live. Uh, and so from year, years on out, thousands of people, particularly young people, need to know who Megan Charlotte was and, and everything that she stood for and everything that she meant to us and to the borough of the Bronx. I just want to acknowledge James, James Bedell from um, he was an assistant commissioner to the Bronx District of Public Health Office, Connie Moran, the, the uh, transportation commissioner, Lynette Alvarado, the project manager of St. Barnabas Hospital, Bob Sancho, who's the vice president of external affairs at Bronx um, Lebanon Hospital, and Dr. App um, Appel, the, the director of the Montefiore School Health uh, Program. All of the individuals, uh, of course, the Bronx Tourism Council, headed by Doris Key Nunes, and we also have uh, Sarah with us here today, and of course, Rose Pinheiro from the Bronx Tourism Council. Thank you for the work that you've done. I expect and hope to see everyone here. Brevemente en español, le quiero decir que este es uno de los eventos más grandes en, en anual en el condado de Papa Dios, en el condado de Bronx. Aquí lo que estamos haciendo es que no solamente eh, dándole una oportunidad a personas, no solamente en nuestro condado, sino en la ciudad y en el estado de Nueva York y de otro estado, que, lo cual que vienen más de 6.000 personas sin vivo. Le queremos dar otro, una oportunidad de ver el condado de Bronx, sus instituciones culturales, sus parques, nuestros parques, nuestras playas. Eh, le queremos dar esa oportunidad de verlo en términos de correr su bicicleta. Estamos dedicando este, este año este evento a la señora Megan Charlotte, una persona que, que, que francamente dio su vida para promover el uso de bicicleta, para promover el, el uso, el, una, una forma de, de, de uno mantenerse eh, bien de salud. Eh, Megan Charlotte ha sido una institución, una pionera para mejorar la situación en nuestro condado y le queremos dar todo el apoyo a su familia y la queremos recordar este domingo durante este evento. Llamo especialmente a muchos de los latinos eh, que sufren de, de, de diferentes problemas de salud, que dejen su carro en su casa, que salgan con su bicicleta y que por lo menos traten lo mejor posible para correr este, do, este domingo. Es una forma de, 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 de mantenerse saludable, pero también es una forma de, de, de otra, de, de otra, de otra de, 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 
lo mucho que tiene que ofrecer.